What's up guys, my name is Kevin with Neato Design and if you haven't heard about us, we manufacture body kits right here in Miami, Florida. Well, today we're going to be working on a collaboration with Lexus USA and VIP Auto Saloon. We're receiving their brand new Lexus UX. This thing hasn't even been released yet. So uh, we're going to get one today and we're going to show you everything we do from the rendering to the prototypes to the production everything all the way to take you back to SEMA 2018 where we debut this brand new kit. So come follow me and we'll show you this car. So there you have it, our first look at the Lexus UX. So from my understanding, this is supposed to replace the CT, which is the smaller hybrid uh, wagon. Um, and when you look at it, it looks like the NX, but it's a lot smaller. Maybe not too much smaller. I think it's a perfect size. It's got the hybrid engine, so you get fuel economy, great room in the back, um, very sporty feel. And this is not even the F-Sport model. This is just a regular hybrid, but I love the front grille. I mean, I love it as much as the F-Sport grille. So of course, the main reason for getting a wagon is for the cargo space. Let's take a look back here. Look at this, man. Great cargo space here. So I think if you're in the market for a small little crossover hybrid, this is an awesome, awesome choice. I mean, I think this is competing against the Infiniti Q30, the Mercedes GLA, um, and it does hold its weight, man. Let me tell you that. And you haven't even seen the interior yet. This interior is just amazing. I love the interior seats. Come take a look. So once you're inside, you look at this, you're like, man, this is amazing. Look at that huge display. Of course, keyless. Press the little button and it's a hybrid, you won't hear the engine, but look at that. I love that. So it's got your big screen for your navigation. It's got your mouse pad here for your menu. It's got for apps, projection, so many things to play with. So if you're anybody like me, I love sunroofs. So look at this, man. You just push a button and there you have your sunroof. And now you have a mini convertible type. So if you look at it, you see a lot of little details in here. Look, I love this. It looks like a brushed aluminum, but like a dark steel aluminum. Um, the blue accents are amazing, and I love this blue color. And it goes, of course, with the F-Sport. You know, everything F is blue, um, so it matches up real nicely. Um, all right, enough for the interior, man. Let's take this to the shop, and let's, let's start working on this. Alright, so now we get to sketch the car and come up with some ideas on what we want to do with the kit. Alright, so I think we got an idea more or less where we're going to start doing the kit for this car. I always like to sketch the car and it gives you a better perspective on all the body lines and gets you inside the mind of the uh, designer. Um, that way we built a kit that's similar to his design. That way everything flows uh, together. So yeah, this is gonna be a fun project. I can't wait, ready to go. Okay, now that we have more or less an idea what we're gonna do with the kit, now we're gonna put this on the lift, take some measurements, and get the process started. Let's do it. measurements done for the car and I'm going to put these numbers on AutoCAD come up with a rough design and that's going to give us a base for the prototype that we start sculpting. Alright now that we have the AutoCAD drawings we're going to go to our good friends RCR Wood where we're going to get everything trimmed out for us that's going to give us a solid base 
to start sculpting the uh, kit. Let's go check them out. So first they'll start by downloading all the files that we just created onto their CNC machine. Here's when they, uh, they make sure you know, they place it in the right way so they can get the most out of the wood. Um, after that they send the signal to the CNC and then the CNC starts cutting. Um, as you can see, they start trimming it out of wood and you get to see the process, how you get an exact cut, uh, giving us a solid base to start doing the kits. So we ran into a small little uh, hiccup where when we first got photos of this car, we thought we could mount the side skirt on the actual doors, but it turns out that the doors open and it's two different pieces. So the rocker panel is kind of a part of the door. Um, so right now we're trying to figure out how we're going to mount the side skirt without making it a two, actually four piece side uh, splitter. Let's see. Well, we'll figure something out. Tackle. There's a lot of things to consider, you know. And it's yeah. We'll we'll make it happen. All right. So I think we got the solution for the side splitters. What we're gonna do is we're gonna actually do like a 90 degree, and then mount in on the bottom of the car. That way you still have room for the door. So the mounting point is gonna be actually we're gonna tap into the clips instead of the chassis of the car. Um, that was gonna be a cleaner look. Uh, so yeah, let's get started. We are right now doing the side skirts. And the most important part, uh, beside the design point of view, is the, um, we had to try to pick up all the prints where the factory either screws or plugs and they need the car so we don't have to make preparation on the body of the car all right so here we just uh, finished putting on the kit with the first design that we had in mind to see what it looks like with the car and overall we're liking it i mean we're going to change a few more things um, one major thing that we want to change is inside when you open the door right now it lays flat but we're going to add some grooves in there um, that will make it look nice when you open the door um, and then in the back we're going to make it stick out a little bit more make this arch go in um, and give it that Lexus lines, you know, just give it those final details. But so far, we're good, we're happy with the progress. Alvaro's doing an amazing job, and I think we're gonna meet deadline for this one. I'm excited for this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we can add some nerves in there. So, the one line, and then the other one. It'll give it a nice, it'll give it a nice look. Well, yeah, we'll just go in one and, one and a half inches. Bam, 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 bam. Okay, um, we continue working on the side. Um, side skirt for the uh, UX. What we're doing right now, I'm blocking this to perfection because when you open the doors, you will see part of this and that going underneath the car. If you see, it's a long extension. So in order to give it more luxury look, we'll take the, um, the router bits and we'll make three channels from from major to minor one two three so when you open the door you will have reflection on the part it's going to look very elegant plus that channel it will create a nerve and that nerve it will make the part stiff And then from there is one inch, and then from there is not even an inch. So right now we have a little hiccup because we're trying to do the grooves inside, but since we already have our base, the router doesn't have space to actually groove where we need it to go. So we're coming up with different ideas. And uh, we'll get it, we'll get it right. <laughs> We are starting to finish the side skirt. All dimensions being checked out. So what we're doing now, we are putting a, a first coat of regular lacquer primer so we can look at the part. Because with different color, we can observe. 
You know, this line, I'm very happy because I can look at it from here. Extremely well de defined. And um, I check the angle, both angles are the same. So I'm gonna let it dry. Then we're gonna take the router bits. I'm gonna route it three channels for beauty and a strength. Now for the final step for the side splitter, we're gonna do is the grooves in the middle and we've got our cutout toe here. Found the perfect router bit. Now we're gonna just start routing away. Check it out. So quick update on the side skirts. We've come up with the final design. Um, last thing we did right now was we uh, did a little angle here where the uh, door meets. So that's gonna give it a nice little touch uh, towards the end. Um, we, we're happy with the, the two end caps. Uh, that's gonna go good with the full kit. machine so we have to retrieve the part half an inch to the back so it can fit properly. So we're finally done with the prototype for the uh, side splitter dash uh, running board. Um, so right now we're just basically setting it up to make the female molds which is the first mold that we make to make it on the uh, thermoforming machine and right now is when we're, we're putting wax and just giving it the final preps before laying the gel coat and then laying the fiberglass on top to create the female mold. All right, so now we're in the process of gel coating the piece and this is the prototype underneath all this white paint and the white paint is gel coat. Uh, so that is step one when doing the female mold. After he's done with this, we'll let this sit down, dry, and then we start putting fiberglass on top. And that would create the molds for the female molds that we would use uh, to make the male mold. And then after the male mold, we'll put that on the thermoforming machine and um, start making our first piece. So yeah, this part is very critical because a lot of things can go wrong. You can put too little gel coat and then cause alligator skin. If it dries up to you too quickly, it's also bad. There's a lot of a lot of things that could go wrong, but Alvaro's been doing it for years, so he's he's pretty good at at doing all this. So it should come out good. All right, so the gel coat has been laid, and now it's dry. So now what we do is go to the next step. And this is when we start laying the fiberglass on top of the gel coat. And once all that dries cure, then we just pull this out and pull the prototype out. And then we have our female mold. So this is when Alvaro's gonna start and start uh, putting our, all the fiberglass in. Uh, right now, what basically what he's doing is just trimming it to the sides, just to make it easier when he's laying down the fiberglass. Because it's very important not to have any air trapped in between. So that if you pre-cut them, for us, I feel it's it's a lot better. Now we have the female mold for the side skirt or the UX and then we we'll prep this to start making 
the memo that will go to into the, the machine. Three coats of wax and then PVA. And now we're gonna start putting gel coat. After the gel coat dry, we will apply the fiberglass. Once the fiberglass is inside the female mold, now it's, in, it's all nice and dry. This is when we pull the male mold out of the female mold. And you basically And here we have the male mold for the thermoforming machine. What he's doing here is he's removing all the PVA because this is the male mold that was just released out of the female mold. So right now what he's doing is he's cleaning up the uh, mold to get it ready for the, uh, for the machine. All right, so here we go. Moment of truth. This is when we start making the first piece of the side skirts for the Lexus UX. If you were heating up the machine, as you can see, the plastic got shaped, and now you're gonna get to see how, how it rises. You see how the mold rises, and when it rises, it causes a seal. Once it's sealed, the vacuum kicks in, and the vacuum starts forming the plastic to the shape of the mold. And little by little, you'll see how the plastic just starts wrapping itself around the mold, and it gets the shape of the piece. And this is the first one being created and so far so good. We are happy with, with the result, how it's coming out. It's vacuuming real nice. And you can actually see what the final piece is gonna look like. So we got the sides back from the painter and these things look amazing, man. I love the way they came out. Check these puppies out. We got the nice mounting point on the top. We got the two uh, rails um, that we did on the side. Of course, got the spot for a logo, the pre-drilled holes. I love, love, love how this looks. Now we're gonna pack it up and send it out to California.